Our great mate Paul Hazelby, <laughs> columnist for the West Australian, uh, oh. has had a bit to say on his other show on SEN. Yeah, I was I was a little bit put out being a bit of an Eagles man. That um, bit of an Eagles man. <laughs> well, I, you know what I reckon. Now we need to rally behind West Coast. It, it is getting that bad that. It's just not good. I was talking to Peter German about it because Peter German got in a bit of strife on the weekend in the Waffle mm. and we also lost after the siren. And he's on the back page of the West today, but then there's Gaffey on the back page of the West. And, and, and the, the focus on Adam Simpson and going forward, I can't see much light. Maybe the North Melbourne game, they pick one up, but they're going to lose. He's going to lose like 15 in a row. And I think next year is going to get worse. Worse. Because there'll be some senior players cleared from the books. But what did Hayes have to say? Yeah, well, I th- he really. Le- I mean, you got to lead with your chin on uh, radio, don't you? But, he's he's uh, very, very good, and uh, always uh, interested what, in what he has to say. All right. Well, what do you think about it? He thinks that the Eagles could lay claim to being the worst team of all time. I don't think they're the worst, <laughs> but they're but they're in the final with with with. Oh, uh, hang on. No, they're up there with Fitzroy before they folded, and Sydney in the nineties were pretty ordinary. But there's a team that everyone forgets, and only you or I would know this. But in the thirties and forties, I reckon there was a team in the then VFL called University. Oh, thank God! And they them. barely won a game. <laughs> it was the Melbourne University. I think they were attached to that to that uh, institution, and they were just cannon fodder every week. But Hayes has got a point, mate. This has got to a stage. There's 300-point losses in seven weeks. I think they've had 13 in their history and three in seven weeks. Three, he, he, he goes on to say three wins three wins of 39 games and an average losing margin of over 70 points. He says that's what Fitzroy were doing before they actually dissolved. Yeah, there you go. So you mentioned folded. Fitzroy, yeah. Oh, look, obviously they've had a bad injury run, Barra, but you know what? This is about list management but, as well. But it they is. have had a it, – it's just been – like I was in there during the week and I was talking to a few of the boys, you know, Nizzy and, and the chairman and that, and they were saying it was unbelievable. On game day, Waterman pulled out. Yep. On game day, said, you know, I don't feel too well. And go, what? Hey, can you believe that? The, the only sort of key defender that they had to go back and play on, Taylor Walker – and Barras had already pulled out as well. So Elliot Yo goes there. So Yoey, Bazzo goes poor there. Poor old Bazzo. Yeah. Did you see Bazzo? I had, did. Yeah. He, sure, he had to pull his pants up at one stage. Well, poor old. He was old. like a baby. Yeah, well. He, um, he literally pulled yeah. up his pants. Yeah, his okay. pants were hanging down off the front of him. Well, that happens. And, yeah, I know. In a tackle. But, but he was stunned because he was playing on Buddy Taylor, yeah. who'd keep, you know. And, well, the and, way the ball was coming down, Jeff Southby and Stephen Silvani combined wouldn't have been able to do so. It's not Bazzo's fault. It's the way that ball was just coming down. And he's a very good player, Taylor Walker. We'll just finish off on that. Are they the worst team of all time? That's clearly not right. And I'll just and I'll just pull out. I just let me just pull see out. See what I'd like to see them play one of those Fitzroy or Sydney. Or oh University mate, teams. they would have beaten Fitzroy. Come on, even those Swans teams that used to get pants under so sure, brass. Not so sure, mate. In the old day, they would have beaten them. I'll just pull out Paul Hazelby's coaching record. Oh yeah, okay. One. Well, season. you're gonna have a whack at heart. No, no. I'm just. Yeah. I just want to put it down there. One one season at South Fremantle, seven wins, thirteen losses. And then lemon and sauce. See what the seven losses. So you may you got to be careful when you sort of <laughs> take aim at people. Simo would, you know, he how has many got losses he, have the Eagles had? How many wins was, have they had in the last? How many two years? flags has Simo got? Yeah. Okay, fair hey? enough.